Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going camping. Yeah. We don't have the boat with us right now. We're not that far. Um, because we're probably not going to be going boating tonight. Yeah, it's pouring down rain. It's been like this all day. It's supposed to be like this all weekend. But hey, we're going camping. We're going to a different place. It's called Trails End RV Park. And um, we've never been here before, but it's not far. It's, it's in a place called um, Floral City. So we're about 30 minutes away, but it's not really that far because we got to go through town. So that's what takes up time. I think it's about 16 miles. So cue the intro and let's get out here and get this tent set up in the rain. <laughs> Okay, everyone, we're back. We're pretty much set up, other than just, you know, getting the bedding and stuff like that in there. I think she's got her bed already made. Well, close to it. But, you know, just setting everything up and getting in there. Uh, pretty nice. This guy's not here, so. Uh, that building over there, that's the clubhouse. We'll be checking it out. There's a pool table in there. And over there is the uh, boat ramp. We didn't bring the boat yet. We'll go get it tomorrow. We got bathhouses up that direction. Yeah, this is pretty nice. He upgraded us for nothing. So thanks, Mike. He put us underneath the shade. As we explained to him, you know, how we're in a tent. We usually don't worry about it, but if, uh, you know, if it's gonna be like this all weekend, I brought a whole bunch of movies for the projector. So, uh, we can watch movies and it would just be a pain to drag the inverter out and the jumper cables and you know hook the inverter up and then starting it up every movie make sure the battery don't go dead I told him I said we'll pay the difference he said no don't worry about it you're not, you're not running air you're not going to use that much electricity so yeah awesome so I'll get back with you I'm going to have to start cooking here shortly because it's already getting late. Well, you know, it's like four o'clock or after, so it's gonna take a while to cook what I brought. I prepared it last night, so you'll see. And of course we can't have a fire. They do have a community fire pit, but you know, the rain. So that's kinda, so I'm gonna have to make something out of a frying pan or Dutch oven or something to cook the stuff in, but we'll get there. All right guys, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay guys, this is what we got set up here. I'm gonna turn this on low. I'm gonna kinda try to make like an oven here. And I'll turn this down low. Just like that, and I'll show you what I made last night. Shotgun shells. That's right. Now, the reason why I made them last night is 
is because you want them set like three or four hours. Um, you can let them set. I made them about, finished them up about nine o'clock last night. What you want to try to do is get your bacon to cover all that or that'll get a little tough, but that's okay. Um, I just took, I took a pound of hamburger, about, and a pound of sausage, and I mixed it up in a bowl, kind of like you're making a meatloaf, and I put mozzarella cheese, one package of mozzarella cheese, um, and a pack of, um, cream cheese, or, you know, a box, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, cream cheese, I put cream cheese in it. and some seasoning whatever seasoning you like and then I stuffed these manicotti noodles with the stuffing wrapped them in bacon covered them up and put them in the uh, refrigerator like I said you can go four hours they say you can go up to 48 hours but I don't think I'd want to wait that long but I'd say 24 to 30 hours would be fine in the fridge. Now we got, how many of these we got? 12. All right, never mind, guys. No, it was like, uh, uh, shoot. Hang on a second, let me count them. That made 22 of them. So we're going to, I'm going to put some kind of lid on here to kind of like make like an oven. Well, we don't have any foil, do we? Well, I'll figure something out to make a lid. That should work for now. But we're going to go over, we're going to take you over to the clubhouse. We're going to check out the clubhouse while this is cooking. This is going to take about an hour. I've got it on really low heat, so yeah, this should this should be all right. We'll do that like that, then we'll go check the clubhouse out, and we're also going to go look at the boat ramp because I think in the morning we're going to go get the boat, and we'll check out the dock and all that stuff. Stick around, more fun to come. Okay, guys, I don't have my mic on yet. I just. Uh, I just grabbed the action camera. We're going to walk down here to the clubhouse. Oh, there's bathrooms right there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Let's go out. There's bathrooms there. I think they have showers there. Well, the showers are up there. Oh, are they? The bathhouses are up there. Oh, okay. These are just bathrooms. Oh, okay. So that's good. Yeah. So we're pretty close. There's our tent right back there. And there's the bathrooms. Okay guys. Okay guys, so we're going on our walk now. Oh, they have cornhole. They have cornhole here. This is the office here. There we go. I should have grabbed the mic, but I didn't. I just grabbed the camera, threw it on my stick here. Oh yeah, that river is up. That is the Whitlacoochee River. Monkey was telling her viewers that, um, that uh, yeah, we've never been on this side of Route 41. Um, 
of the Wetzelkuchi River. So it'll be interesting. I know up that way, up that way is a little lake. It comes into a little lake. Huh? Is this the Yeah. No pets. And this is a dart board. Okay, we've got dart board here. TV. Table. There's puzzles. Drinking water. Music. Air conditioning. Oh, they have a little library here. Here, look, they have a little. Look, they have a little library here. Yeah, that's nice. Well, some of these people stay all winter long in that, so they yeah, get really busy in here. He said he's already booked for, what, December and January? Yeah. Yeah, so they're already full in here. That's really cute. Really nice. You can do dishes in here. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. See the sink? Yep. Oh, yeah. It's clean. We we'll probably have little parties, get togethers in here. Stuff like that. Very nice. Might do arts and crafts for the women. Chef's set. Check out the water. Well, I'm coming. I'm coming. He's not supposed to be in here. No. No pets allowed. Let's get him out of here. Okay. I'm going to be getting one of these locks. They're sending me one. Yeah. Oh, you got the lock? Is that what you chose? Well, you said you didn't like the other stuff. No, because I don't, I don't drink espresso. We have offered that. Cornhole. And, um, or a couple of different types of locks. So he chose the lock and we're going to put it at the back door. Silver one, it's that exact one. Yeah. So he's going to put that at the back door. So we'll have two. Oh, dude. I got a barbecue. <sighs> oh, my God. That's what I could be using on, on the thing. Yeah, you could. Uh, well, this is our first time here, so... I was going to bring the charcoal, too. Oh, isn't that nice? Look, you got a little... That's the fireplace. It's yeah. a community fireplace. It's a community there. fire pit there. Yeah. They don't have one for each place, which I messed up because I, I like that. And he said there's canoes. You can come out here. There's a couple kayaks there. Yeah. There's a little boat. Oh, you could get in one of these rowboats. Man, you could row an I really want to. Wow, look at how high the river is. Wow. I, I really want to. I really want to cook those on that thing. Is it charcoal? Yeah. I know, but they'd be so much better. Somebody's using wood in here. I didn't bring any wood. Because I wasn't planning on having a fire tonight. There's some wood over there. Let's go over here and check it out. Come on, Bruno. We'll go down there. I can't go on the other one for it. It's a floating dock. Yeah, see, that's where we'll be parking the boat. Yeah, over there. In one of those slips there. This is the boat ramp. Yeah, it is. Wow, I can't get over how high the water is. I'm glad is. we have a four-wheel drive. Yeah, come on. Over here. Now, you know, there's probably gators in here somewhere. And you like the swampy stuff. 
Yeah, this river is up high. Oh, this is nice. Yep. Even if it's raining, we can fish. We can fish right out through here. Yeah. Oh, I need some bait. Yeah, we could sit here and bring our chairs and just sit right here. Yeah, no one's going to bother us. And hey, look, they've got a net. Long handled oh. net. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, this is nice. I really like this place. Oh, cute. Got the lights on. Oh, nice. Look at that. Yeah, we've never boated down this far. That's kind of like a boat. Yeah, up that way. Yeah. There's a lake. Well, I can pretty much see it from here. Yeah. It opens up into a lake right out there. Yeah. I forget the name of it. That's pretty cool. And we'll just park our boat right there in that slip. Yep. Well, this is really peaceful. The sun's finally coming out. Maybe that's a good sign. Yay. Wow. This is nice. Yes, it is. Let's walk over How here. How much did you repay a night? Well, for three nights without electric or water was a hundred and five dollars. Yeah, and you thought that was kind of steep. Well, I did, but now I don't think so. No, you have lots of that, and I mean, you know, we, here. we paid that much for that other place on the river, and and we couldn't even put our boat in there. Yeah. Remember I had to put the boat in yeah. up the river and then drive it down. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it, it's a beautiful place too, but they got cabins and stuff there. Yeah, well did you see on that thing what it says something about a tree house? Where? Here. No. I don't know. I'll have to find out. She said she read something about a tree house. Yeah, I think I can get our boat in here. Yeah, our boat. I think. I think. I think I'm good enough. Oh. Get her boat in there. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we have to take the boat out at night, but. No, we don't. Oh, we don't? You, we can park it right there in one of them slips. Oh. We park on the side, which says you have to take it out. Oh, what is this? Oh. You might be confusing because, listen, there's slips right there to park the boat. That's what these are for. Oh. Yeah, that's that's all water. You can't step in there. Yeah, we can just park our boat in one of these areas here. And water's up high enough. I don't have to worry about anything. He said, well, there's some weeds down there, but I'm, I'm not worried about that because I'll just pull the boat in instead of backing it in. And we'll just tie off right here. Well, this one's got the cleats. Probably tie off onto this one. It's got cleats. Yeah, we can park our boats right here, huh? See? Oh, okay. There's somebody on a boat. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm good enough to get that thing down in here. <coughs> yeah, I believe I can back that boat right in here. Cool. Alright guys, I'll be back with you in just a minute. This is cool. Yeah. They got a little barbecue thing you could eat there if you wanted to. Yeah, you could cook here. Just to sit outside. And eat inside. Yeah. That's cute. 
Right, but still, yeah. I'd really like to cook on the fire. But, you know, that place to sit there. Baby's on this side. That way they got a laundry room over there. Like yeah. The back there. Yeah, laundry room. Yeah. Some little lights here. Oh, yeah, there's laundry. Oh yeah, two washers, two dryers. Yeah, that's cool. This nice. is this is nice, but yet it's rustic. Yeah, I yeah. love it. This this is cool. Yeah. This place is awesome. See that little trail? Yeah, I see the trail. There's a trail across where that big tree is over there across the way. Cool. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. We gotta go check the food. Okay, guys, so. They're, they're cooking up nicely. These ones, I'm just frying them so the bacon's kind of unraveling. I should have put two pieces of bacon around each one, but I didn't. Because I actually ran out, and I had three more to do. And Monkey went to the store and got me another pack. So, but I should have went ahead and wrapped the rest of them. But I think she wanted some bacon for breakfast, so I didn't want to use up all the bacon. We're going to have spaghetti tomorrow night, so that'll be cool. So there's what we're looking at I'll bring you back when I cut one open okay guys so here we go I'm gonna cut into one of these these are monkeys here because they're the best ones <clears throat> like I said you would uh, ideally you want to smoke these things in a smoker for about an hour hour and a half however long it takes depending on what your temperature is but oh look at that I'll give this to monkey mm -hmm. and we'll let her try it Probably pretty hot. Oh, it smells good. It'd be better smoked, but oh, the rest of them, we've got several here. Tomorrow, I'm going to smoke those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hot. Uh huh. Yeah. It's hot. But when you let them cool down, a lot of guys, what they do is cut them up, put toothpicks in them, and have them for like finger foods or. Mm. They're really an appetizer, but yeah. when they're cooled down, you can just pick them up and eat them. Right. How is it? Good. Really Very good? good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very All right. Well, we're going to go eat, and yeah. then uh, I'll be back with you guys with more fun. Okie dokie. So I'm sitting here talking to Monkey about these things. Excellent, by the way. you got to try it. Just make sure you get... They didn't turn out tough, <laughs> but make sure you get them all covered in the bacon and let them set. But, um... Well, I was telling her, I said, you're supposed to put, you know, barbecue sauce on, sauce on it, you know, about 10, 15 minutes before you're ready to take them off the grill. But I said, I didn't have any. She said, no, I bought you some. It's in there. What did I say last night I was going to do? You said you was going to buy some today, but I didn't know you went to the store. I told you I was going to go to Dollar General on the way home. I didn't know you did. I did. Sorry. It's in the car. Because she had an appointment. Yeah. So, <laughs> I figured, you know, well, we'll still be able to be out here, you know, by three or four. When she got back, you know, it was 2.30 maybe. Mm -hmm. Or a little after two. She didn't leave until almost one, so I didn't think, so apparently she did stop and get some barbecue sauce. Yep. But do that if you can. If you can't have sugar, that's understandable. But she she has some that that don't doesn't have any sugar. So. Yeah, I didn't bring it though. I just bought, yeah, but, bought a regular bottle. Yeah, but um, there was a guy I seen. He he did um he did barbecue sauce. He did um, soy sauce and then lemon or something like that. He said the barbecue was definitely the best. But you can't go wrong with this, you know. It's real easy. I didn't film any of making it, but because really, like I said, you just mix it up like you're making a meatloaf. Mm -hmm. How much cream cheese was that? Eight ounces or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just a One little, box. just a little box. One box. Pound of hamburger. Pound of sausage. Depending on how much you're gonna make, too, and whatever you can substitute. It's your recipe once you do it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and whatever cheese, it doesn't matter. I just use mozzarella, but you can use whatever you want to use. I have that too. Yeah, I know, but we don't need it. It's already in here. Oh. oh. See, like, oh, I had that too. It's all right, because I already used it. <laughs> oh, you want me to take it <clears throat> Unless you want it on the spaghetti. We can do that. Okay, I'll mix it in with the sauce or something. Mm. But I'm definitely going to smoke the rest of these tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let them cool down. on. let Bruno have one. He can have these. And then whatever seasoning you guys want, you know, I mean, just mix it all up, stuff them. I just used my hand. I didn't use a piping bag. Well, I don't have a piping bag, but even if I did, I just, it's so easy just to push it in there. And it's not a big deal. So, yeah, give it a shot, guys. You'll love it. It does look like it goes through to avoid another situation. Uh, -uh that's not a good idea. Copyright on this book's 1976. We don't know the condition of the road. I don't know. Hey. I think we should turn around and take the. Good morning, everyone. Or what time is it? 11:39. 11:39. So good morning. I just got up what about half an hour ago. <laughs> well, I was pretty much awake, but I was trying to sleep. But a stupid bird. And the bird was annoying. Loud. Then we had a night bird all night long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Bruno was getting antsy. He wanted to go for a walk and he was walking around in the tent. Kush, 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 kush. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Jesus. Bruno, she said, I'll get him. I'll take him for a walk. <laughs> the only thing I can do to solve that problem is maybe buy one of those carpets to put inside. And then maybe that might stop know. the sound. Yeah, it'll stop the sound because he gets restless. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't have to pee or anything. He just wants to go out and explore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, monkey bless her heart, took him down, sat by the river with him for a while so I could try to get a little rest, but... We went laughing. <laughs> but then that stupid bird. Yeah. So... He flew over my head because I was coming back from walking. He flew right over my head. Yeah. Yeah, he went over in that bush over there and yeah um there. but i think we might do a fishing tournament between me and monkey we're going to go get the boat but it's already starting to sprinkle isn't it yeah so we're not sure i'll go get it anyway we can go in the rain we got the topper as long as it doesn't pour the topper yeah but we got raincoats I don't know. We'll we'll just see. I mean, if it's pouring, we're kind of wasting our time bringing it. Well, we still have tomorrow. Yeah. We can have it here, and then we can go in the morning. Everybody's been going in the morning out here. But yeah, so I, I'll let you know what's going on. Okay, guys. So we got some sunshine coming through there monkey wants to go get the boat so we're going to go get the boat and uh kick you back on when we get the boat oh look can you get it yeah i got him so i can't get it with my camera yeah i got him oh so cool yeah oh look at that 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 I bet you that, that's the mama standing there. The two still have spots. They're Bambi deer. Oh. So that's the mother there with them. Yeah. Go ahead, hon. Oh, they're so cute. They'll run. I got them. You can use this clip. Okay. Because yeah, I can't focus, you know. The zoom. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the mama. Look at that. I wonder if I gave them food to come up. There they go. Look at them. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Hey guys we're back as you can see there's the trailer the boat is down in the slip Yay, now, yeah. we boating. Huh? now we can go boating yep you ready yeah you think we need the raincoat no okay you can bring them if you want but i don't think we'll need them okay i don't know anyway well let's head on down i'm going to be bringing this camera i'm not going to bring my mic because a lot of this will be music. 
Yeah. We'll go up here and check this lake out. Yeah. Back with you guys. Okay, guys. We're on the boat. We're running. I'll give you some music. And uh, let's go out here into this lake.
too smooth <laughs> that's a cute monkey said thank you papa or something like that <laughs> she had fun <laughs> that's where we're going to be fishing at tonight i don't know maybe we'll take a night cruise we'll see what happens after supper so hopefully you enjoyed some of the boat footage pretty cool yeah we launched right here <laughs> don't look like it but we did there was a baby gator in here swimming around he was little about two feet maybe okay guys let's head back to the back to the homestead well <laughs> huh yeah cool Okay guys, we're down here in the screened in porch area. We've got the grill fired up. This is our charcoal, but they had some here for you to use if you need it. We've got a candle lit. And I'm just gonna make the rest of these up. I might make the spaghetti tomorrow night because these need to be eaten up. So uh, out there, Yeah. That's the two smooth sitting there in the water. But uh yeah, I showed you guys around here yesterday. There's the bathroom and laundry rooms. This is a fire pit. <laughs> Bruno's sitting in the car. He loves it in there. I don't know why. But he does. We'll leave the door open and the doors open in case he wants to get out so yeah there's the fire pit very nice they do have a store but it closes at four today so but yeah this is a nice place so we're just gonna eat in here because we like eating outside <clears throat> but since it's screened in we don't have to worry about the bugs 
very nice got all these canoes and kayaks there is a paddle boat right there and then the two John boats come on filming through a screen but there's two John boats there they have life life jackets and stuff in there so very nice all right I'm gonna let this get burnt down I put a piece of wood on there so I could have some smoke we'll smoke these and uh, they'll even be better than they were yesterday so once that log burns down I'll put that's kind of like on a little grate I'll put that grate on top of here and then I'll put the that pan cookie sheet over top of it help hold in the heat and the smoke so cool a lot of guys will wait you know about 10 to 15 minutes before 10 to 20 minutes before it's done before they put the barbecue sauce on but I like it to cook into it as well I'll put that much on it and then then about 10 minutes before they're done then I'll do it again and let it kind of crisp up a little bit so hopefully you guys are enjoying the weekend with us so yeah monkey walked up to get the tongs for me I forgot the tongs and um, get us a little fan so yeah very nice love this place there's monkey's dessert banana and chocolate but uh this is what happened to the chocolate <laughs> yeah. because monkey left a chocolate bar inside that black truck in a bag not in the cooler in Florida mm -hmm. and she complained <laughs> it melted yeah it's, yeah, it's going to it melted <laughs> it was fine this morning uh -huh. but it sat all day in a black truck in the hot sun mm -hmm. in Florida mm. how is it Good. you like it uh -huh. is it warm enough mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Monkey and I are getting ready to play some nine ball. I'm not going to film any of it because my tripod is being used to hold up the projector in the tent. And I do have another tripod, but it's up in the tent. And we're not, so. What the hell was that? Monk. Oh, my God. Come on, Monk. So, all right. Somebody already had it set up for eight ball, but racked up for eight ball, but all right. I'll let you know what happens. Okay, so as always, Monkey lost. I did not. I won two, two games. He lost. I won one game <laughs> because I put the nine ball in without my target ball moving, so. I won. She won two out of three. Yeah, didn't even know what I was doing, but I won. That was pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> so. Good job, Monk. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. My strategy works. I worked hard on that one. Oh, check this out, guys. This is really cool. Is looking at some of these pictures. Mm. Now, over in that shed over there. I don't know if you saw it yesterday, but where that Coca-Cola sign is, in that shed, there is an old gas pump in there. Now, there's another one over there, but the one that was in that shed, here it is before the shed was built around it. That's the, the pump that was originally here and it's still in that shed, so that's pretty cool. Some of these old pictures here. That's still there. You know, all them old boats, man. Old John boats. See, there it is. There's the pump. This part was there. It's still there. But then they added the other part over top of that pump. Isn't that cool? There's some fish that I caught. And here, they actually had a seaplane come in at one time. 
awesome. And it's pouring down rain. Is it? Yes. Well, here, All right, we're gonna sit here for a minute. All right, guys, I made it back to the tent. Monkey's sitting in the car. I had to hurry because I had all the damn windows open. Uh, but I got them closed now. Not too bad, though. There's got a little bit wet right underneath the windows, but no, uh, no puddles or anything. So here in a little while, I'll have to go down and pump the boat out because it don't have an automatic pump on it, which I'm going to put in it. If it had an automatic pump, I wouldn't have to worry about it, but it don't, so All right, I'll be back with you. Good morning, everyone. Day three, Sunday. We don't have to be out here until tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> nice yeah so <clears throat> really nice yeah so looks like a good boating and maybe fishing day yeah well, i want to do some fishing before we leave well we need to do fishing first today because we went boating yesterday so if it rains at least we got one one trip of boating in went down and checked on the boat a couple times it was fine yeah 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 it's nice that you can just dock it there and leave it Oops. That's from Monkey's Coffee. Okay. And I steamed up my camera. It's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, medication time. <sighs> so. We have drug parties in this house. <laughs> yeah. That fan right there is a Timu fan. It was out here yesterday, last night when we came back. And it was pouring, from just pouring. The clubhouse, and it pulled. Well, I, I think they saw it. I don't know, but it rained like crazy. Yeah. Uh. So, and my phone was laying here, screen up. Yeah, it was out here. Screen up the he whole time. He never does that either, and I was surprised he even did I, that. I went in the tent. And I was like, oh my God, my phone. And I come back out. She was still sitting in the car. This is after I recorded for you guys. And I came out and sure enough, my phone was sitting there on the table screen up. Yeah. Giving me a moisture warning. <laughs> and it still works it's, just fine. It works just fine. You haven't had any problems, have you? Nope. I, I figured it was done. Just done. I was like, oh, we'll be buying you a new phone. Yeah, I thought so too, but there it is. So, uh, hats off to Samsung, <laughs> and yeah, hats that off, case, that case might have hats that. off to Tima, it wasn't in the case, I just put it in the case this morning. What? It wasn't in the case. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't in the case. Mm -hmm. I had to take it out of the case for some reason, but yeah, it wasn't in the case. So, yeah, hats off to Timu for that fan, huh, Mama? Hell yeah. But, yeah, yeah I just, uh, after that last shot, man, we didn't do anything. We started watching movies. Yeah. Then we went up and took turns, went up and had our showers. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. They're very clean. Nice showers. Yeah, very nice. They're dated, but I love it because this is old Florida. Yeah. This is true old Florida here, guys. So... All right, stick around for more fun, hopefully fun. I gotta take my meds. Okay, everyone, we're down here fishing. I'm trying out some hot dogs. We got some other bait. Monkey just walked over to the truck and parked right over there. But there's my rod and there's hers. I just thought I'd try hot dogs. I haven't used them in a long time, but the river's up, so when the river's up this high, they usually don't bite that well anyhow, but if we catch something, I'll bring you back. I don't have you on tripod because, again, my the tripod for this camera, there we go, is uh, the projector's on it. And I didn't feel like taking it off and then putting it back on again later, so 
what we'll probably do tonight, what we usually do the night before is get everything we're not going to need and get it packed up and get it packed away and then next day really all we have to do is tear down the tent so uh, I got a dentist appointment tomorrow <sighs> see how that goes they're just going to do an x-ray I guess so but anyway I'll let you know how that goes but yeah so oh there's the boat there There's here's where we're at see there's the boat over in the slip so but yeah, the water's just up so high. Probably not good for fishing, but we're going to try a couple things and then... Sorry. And then uh, I'll be back with you. I did bring my GoPro, or my action camera, but I didn't uh, I didn't put it on yet because I don't figure we'll do any good here. So, uh. <coughs> excuse me, we'll fish for a little bit and then I think... If it don't rain too hard, we'll take the boat out for a little bit. Uh, the guy here was telling us up that way a couple miles, there's a um, there's a restaurant on the left. He don't know if it's still open or not, but uh, it sells good sandwiches. So we'll take a cruise up there and find out. But anyway, I'll let you know if we catch anything. Say just All under right. ten. It's over ten. Over ten. It's over ten. Oh my God! Wow. Yeah, we caught him just the other side of the campground. Oh really? Yeah, that's where we're staying at. Yeah. Yeah. I saw your boat there. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's where we're staying. At. I didn't know it was gator season. Yeah. Is now it? till November eighth. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, little over 10. Big old gator. Yeah. A little over 10 pounds. What do you catch them with? What do they catch them with? I don't know. I've never gator hunted. What do you guys catch them with? A treble hook. A treble hook? We just snag them. It's a pole and a treble hook. I'll take a pair of boots. That's right, that's right. Hey, thanks, guys. All Good right, job, yeah. man.
Okay, guys. Taking Bruno for a walk. We're going up here to check this park out, the doggy park. And uh, she's going to go get some ice and some cold drinks and uh, some hot dog buns. I'm going to make some hamburger into hot dog shapes. We're going to have that for supper tonight. I was going to have spaghetti, but I'm like, man, don't want to do that. <laughs> she said there's a little cottage over here. Oh, an airplane. That's the first airplane I've seen all weekend. Oh, there is a cottage over here. Jayco's for sale. If we buy a camper, it's going to be a pop-up. That way we're still kind of tenting. But there's the little doggy park. She said there was cats up here. I see a cat up here. They're a little John boat. This is cool. fixing this up and renting it out. So hopefully you're enjoying the time on the boat, on the boat with us. Oh wow. Bet your monkey didn't see that. Bruno, don't. That's eerie. This is the little doggy park here. So, I'm going to turn him loose and let him run for a minute, and I'll be back with you. I guess he's ready. You ready to go back to camp? Come on, let's get your leash on you. <laughs> yeah, let's get your leash on you. We gotta put this on first. He ran around, done his little thing. Oops, hang on. I don't pull. So, and then there's our little camp there. I'm gonna go sit in front of the fan for a minute. Well, I usually put it in front of him. He likes to sit in front of the fan and get cooled down. Boy, he slept good last night, probably from being on the boat, because he jumps up and down in there on the seats and stands up and looks around. It makes him tired, wears him out. I wanted to look at this tree. This is a little bird sanctuary there. So you can sit in them benches and watch the birds, but I seen a whole bunch of squirrels over there yesterday. I don't know what these are. Lime. These are limes. I think maybe they're lemons. 
cut one open later and try it out. I won't go later. I'm gonna explore that little that little house, little cottage monkey called it. <laughs> All right. Now let me get him situated. Get the fan on us. Okay, guys. So we decided we also had these. We decided to use these because the hamburger was less than desirable it probably would have been all right if if we cooked them well done but we didn't want to chance it i mean if that's all we had i'd cook it well done i'm sure it would have been fine but monkey with a store got some buns they didn't have buns and they only had two loaves of bread but the guy said well i'll just sell you some buns for the hot from the hot dog machine yeah so he sold her six buns so that worked out good yeah so then we still got two more here. These are sausages, so I know they're okay. So yeah, all right. I'm gonna give Monkey her tripod back because mine's down on the boat, and uh, so she can do some filming. And I'll be back with you guys. Good morning, everyone. Monday morning. It's about 8:30 ish. Uh, getting ready to start tearing down. We'll get down and get the boat. I should have I should have loaded the boat last night, but that's all right doesn't take that long so but yeah so we didn't after the last clip we didn't really do nothing but watch movies came back from the boat ride we went down you know we had supper and all that and then just kind of watched movies the rest of the evening it rained a little bit but not much it didn't pour down rain or anything it just rained for a few minutes and that was pretty much it so that was pretty good had a good night it cooled down so got in the 70s so that was nice i slept good you sleep good mama yeah yeah she slept good bruno was worn out yeah because we've been boating and that always wears him out huh yeah he's in, he's in the car right now So, all right i'll be back with you guys in a minute okay everyone we're about a mile from the house thought i'd do my intro now because i gotta drop the boat off and freshen up a little bit and head to my dentist appointment but uh we just spent half an hour along the road helping someone out huh yeah younger guy from jamaica but I helped him change the tire on his BMW. He had a big old whole big old blowout. Yeah. So we was translating through the phone and stuff, but yeah, he saw us go past and we went up and turned around and came back and he said, you turn around, help me. I said, yes, we turned around to help you because he seen us go past. He was reading his owner's manual and he was trying to translate it with his phone. So. Uh, so I stopped and helped him. We used our jack. We got him going, put his donut tire on for him. So he's good to go now. So Monkey's like, we don't have time. I'm like, we got time. Always got time to help somebody. Always, you know. So she thinks I help too many people. No, so. I'm not worried about that. I was worried about your appointment. It is important. It is important, but we don't know what that guy's issues were maybe he's got something more important than a tooth i mean i feel for him i exactly yeah. know how he feels well i mean it was like you know when this thing was down and her mom's out in the hospital dying yeah there were, nobody helped us the neighbors did the neighbors helped yeah. us yes but, but i'm I saying mean, so you know what it's like you don't always know what you know that's more important than a tooth so we don't know you know it, it could be that just because a guy's smiling and thanking you profusely doesn't mean you know everything's going good in his life too so but yeah. you know i just saw and there's nothing there where he was either no nothing. no Most there's stores, nothing. nothing no mm -hmm. so he was stranded, he was stranded. so but you know I, I was always taught that you always have time to help someone that's in need so you're a good guy thank you so I stopped and helped him get well, uh, dirty, and but that's okay. He he was wiping my shirt off for me. I was like, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Dirt, 
to her. I said, it's okay, it's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> she just got back from a camping trip, it's fine. He's not, he, you could tell he was relieved. That's he was helpful. very, very relieved. Yeah, he was stressing. I said, you need some help? He's like, oh. <laughs> he just, I will help you, I can help you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, Monk. So she's out of fun, y'all. Yep. So, yep. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this video is not too long. Hope you enjoyed the, the boat rides. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, November 2nd, they're having a Halloween contest, decorating contest out there, huh? Yeah. I know. She said it's weird. It's after Halloween, but they're, they're going to have a decorating contest. And the winner gets two free nights. I'm uh, off the road. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we're thinking about going and doing that. Already got some ideas running around in my head. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, gone for now. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, everyone. Hope, hope your weekend went great. We'll see you soon. Ours did. Yeah, it did.